Oh, hey guys, how the frigs are going today? Well, it's a gorgeous day out today. I'm still wearing my winter jacket because it's a little chilly. And as you can see behind me, the lawn is almost fully uncovered. Front lawn just has this little bit left. Trans Am is fully uncovered and it can move. Well, if I had insurance, I'd be driving it, but she's not insured, so fuck it. But uh, yeah. But today I got a special project in order. I want to replace the windshield nozzles. I don't even know if I got them in the shot. I can't, yeah, there we go. I want to replace the windshield nozzles on the car because this one over here is fucked. Let me show you. If you look at this one here, you can see it's got a little piss hole, right? Let me take a look at this one here. You can clearly see that it's wide open. I thought you could buy the insert that just clips in there, mixed back into a sprayer, but turns out they don't sell that. So we're gonna take a rip over to Cambodian Tire, see if we can buy some new uh, windshield washer sprayer thingies, and then we're gonna try and change them out after we get back. Let's better batter. Alrighty guys, we're down here at Cambodian Tire. Let's go see if we can get our sprayer nozzle thingies. Fucking need a haircut. Well, that's some quality fucking customer service for your tits right there. Go into Canadian Tire, go up to the parts counter. Yeah, I'm looking for windshield uh, windshield nozzles for a 05 Pontiac G6. Yeah, we don't carry parts like that. You Maybe you should check Amazon.com or, or uh, go over to one of the auto parts stores in town. We don't have stuff like that here. Doesn't even check the computer, doesn't nothing. Just, now yeah, we do, I don't want to do work today. It's Saturday, I don't give a fuck. So, there's another place I can check. This project isn't done. I, uh, on my way back, I called a, another parts store here in town. And uh, they said they have universal kits in. Which, okay, you know what, I'll buy it. I'll take it. Universal means maybe I can modify something to make it work. Or maybe it'll just snap right in and give her. Who knows? Anyway, right now, I'm, I'm going to get some burgers. Teen burgers, because I haven't had lunch and I'm fucking starved, so I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace. Alrighty, let's see if we get any better luck at Part Source, which you can sort of see the sign, like right over here-ish. Let's go. Alrighty, well, we got a universal kit here. The only thing I don't like is on the nozzle, the sprayer comes out the bottom. And I know on these ones here it goes out the back, so hopefully it'll work. And they uh, don't clip in, they screw in to fasten, so whatever. Let's go home, have some food, and then we'll install these sluts. How's it going? I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna get tackling on this project. So that's back here. The first thing we're gonna have to do is pop the hood. I guess the next thing we're gonna have to do is take this here thing off. And there's four. There we go. Let's take a gander here. Now here's the problem. The kit I got doesn't have this T-brace, so I'm gonna have to reuse that. Well, that probably wasn't supposed to happen. So literally, apparently, all you do... Literally, apparently, hey, fuck out. Apparently, all you do is just squeeze these tabs in. And then you should be able to pop the thing out. I just don't know if it's gonna work that way. Let's see how it's broken. I think what I'm gonna do is just get a pair of cutters. Snaps. Literally, it's had these little tabs on it, but they're stubborn as fuck, so. Garbage. This is where I wish I had a cameraman, but I don't. Or a camera operator for those 2017 political correct idiots. Instead, I resort to the old fashioned way a tripod and just giving her. Okay, so this thing doesn't come with any instructions. Just a website, which I totally have access to in the garage. Here's the new one. So, 
it looks like it just screws in then you hook your hose on the end but what I don't understand is well here's the screw in part yeah, let's take them all out here here's a an adapter I guess to elongate your lines if you need to I don't know what these are for probably to sit on the hood portion that makes sense okay to keep it from making contact with the hood all right let's go and install one of these hook it up see what happens all right so all I'm gonna do here is just pass it through make sure it's aiming towards the windscreen like so and come on the other side here and screw this here six star nut on the end like so and I should be able to take this and stab it on here like so Well, that should be all said and done. Now I just got to do the other side. The other side just literally came apart in my hands. Cheap, cheap plastic. I went to pinch this here. Uh, see, that's what the tabs look like there. I went to pinch it in to release it. The tab broke, and then the whole top came off, and there's like a little spring in there. I wonder what that's for. Well, whatever. Let's replace it. All right, people. We got them in. And they're bolted in place. I think I got some windshield washer fluid left. I know I need to top up, but... Uh, they sit a lot higher than the previous ones on the car. So, let's do ourselves a solid. We'll close the hood and we'll see how they spray. Okay, so right now they're a little low, I guess. I don't know. But there's no water in there. I need to get some more juice, so we should probably go to the corner store and pick some up. Because of the thing sticking down, the new uh, water dingies. I don't know if I can use this. So, i might leave it off for the time being. All right, I just got back from the store and I bought some. Premium windshield wash here, hit for minus 45C, with bug wash. This stuff is great. If you go on a highway trip and your uh, bumper's getting covered in bugs, just uh, spray some of this in a Windex bottle. Spray it on your bumper, let it sit for about five minutes, and just come and wash them out, all the bugs come off. It's pretty cool, but I'm gonna fill her up. I'll be with you in a minute. I didn't think the car had a four liter reservoir for this stuff, but either A, it does, or B, shit's broken. I don't know if there's any, any fluids on the ground down here. I can't see the view screen right now, so I'll have to check it in the preview after, but... I don't know. Oh well. Let's go and fire up the washers and see if they work. And We might have to aim them, but they gave us a cool tool for that. They gave us this thing right here, which you can use to aim your jets. Neat. Alright, let's do this. Well, I just went inside to see if I could find a video on how to aim these things, and there's absolutely nothing out there. What I've been doing is, uh, if you look here, there's this um, little metal thing here. I've been using this thing here, and I've been going in there, and just been turning it and lifting it and guiding it around. And then, when you pull the trigger, you'll see that they're complete shit. I just got the camera, I'm like completely missing that. Like, fucking junk, eh? Well, I can fiddle fuck with these all I want, but basically, that's the end result. So, better than what it was. I'll assume that when I'm doing like 40, 50 kilometers down the road, that the, uh, the juice will just hit the uh, windscreen. Should be valid. Looks like my car is crying, but let's have a beer in the name of the car.
Bottoms up, bitches. <sighs> anyway, people, that's uh, basically how I changed the uh, windshield washer sprayers on my car. Probably not the best choice of parts, but when you live in a small community and there aren't many stores to choose from, because nobody stocks up on parts, you gotta work with what you got. And all I got is what I got. Yeah. So I'm gonna call it here, boys. Yes, this is not a vlog. This was uh, me fucking around with the car video, but hopefully you enjoyed it. <clears throat> Just gotta clean this wiper fluid off of my hood. And the hood looks really clean now. Remember, my buddy used to wash his car in this shit. Buy a bottle of it. Just dump it all over the car. Let it soak in, then wash the car. And his car always looked fantastic afterwards. Don't know if it's bad for the paint, but whatever. But anyway, on that note, people, I'm gonna shut her down here. So hopefully you enjoyed my little how to install aftermarket shitty Chinese windshield nozzles in your car. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, people, peace the freak out.